Welcome to the homework for Lesson 6. This is Module 4 of Grade 2. Write your name first. And we're solving these using mental math, if you can. Use your place value chart and place value disks to solve those you cannot do mentally. So if you don't have a set of disks at home, and most people don't, you're going to draw a place value chart and draw place value disks and these are all going to be all you're going to need are tens and ones so you can make it yourself a little chart like this if that's what you're going to use and just to give you one example i'm not going to do them all like this because otherwise this video will take way too long but just to give you an example of what the place value disks look like Tens are, so let's say, let's do this one right here. In place value disks, we would look at this. 26 would be two tens. Right? These are tens. And six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. And these are all ones. I like to draw them in columns of five. Because these five groups it'll end up looking just like a 10 frame. When you're drawing lots of these little things, it really helps to keep them organized. You really have to do it because otherwise you're going to lose count. It happens all the time that everybody, they draw everything they're supposed to draw and then they just count it wrong and you get the wrong answer. So if you, that's what you're doing. You're drawing pictures and things to count. You make sure you draw pictures that are organized because otherwise you look at this and you can see it's six. It's five and one more. You don't have to count it or recount it. That's the 26. You draw the 58. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, more tens. These are tens. And eight more ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more ones. And now you can just look at this and see, oh, there's seven tens. And oh, wait a minute. That's ten ones. So I really have to make that into a 10. I can't keep all those in the ones place because otherwise I'll have 14 ones and I'll have 714. And that's going to be way too much. So this is really, now I have eight tens. So that's why you should always look at your ones place first because you're probably going to have to do it over or fix it. And so now after I moved all of these tens out, I don't want to count these 10 ones. After I move them all over, I don't want to count them twice. They're gone because I replaced them with this 10. I'm not going to count them twice. I'm just going to count the other ones that are left. That's 4, so 84. And it really, this method goes a lot faster if you actually have the disks, if that's what you're using. Uh, then drawing them takes more work than actually using the disks. And at the end of this chapter, if you're printing these out, you can make your own out of the ones that they give you here with tens and ones. There's a template for that that you can get online. And in the video description says um, where I where I got these pages from. So you can go to that website, click on it, and print them out. All right, so using mental math, if we can, which, which is what I'm going to do for most of these because uh, we've got four plus nine because I don't want the... If I model every single one of these using place value, this is this video is going to be an hour and a half long. So I'm going to have to kind of rush through a lot of these. 4 plus 9 is 13. 30 plus 9, 39. 34 plus 9. That's going to be, we're looking at this. See this 4 plus 9 right here? There's 4 and there's 9. So we know that's 13, and we have a 30 here, so it's going to be 43. It's just a little mental trick. This 4 plus 9, that's 13, like we solved here, but now we have 30 and 40, that's 70. So we, we're really looking at 70 and 13, 83. 6 plus 8, 14. 20 plus 8, 28. 26 plus 8, there's our 14, plus the 20, 
34. And there's our 14 again, but now we're adding it to 2 tenths and 5 tenths at 70. So we're literally looking at 70 plus 14, 84. Right, and we did it with the place value disks here. Now we're uh, solving the following problems using place value chart and place value disks, composing a 10 if we need to. And you're going to see a lot of the same stuff. All right. Using the ones digits here, that's a 10. 1 plus 9, that's a 10. So 20 plus that 10, 30. And now we've got 22 plus 9. Well, 21 plus 9 is 30. 22 plus 9 is 31. This is composing a 10, right? You've got 8 ones plus 2 more ones. That's a 10. So you're going to have a 10 plus the 2 tens or that 20. That's 30. And then this is going to be two more, right? Because this add end is four, that end is two, so our sum is going to be two more. 32. 32 plus 16. Look at our ones. That's going to be an eight. And we have three tens. Three tens and one ten, that's four, so it's 48. Now, if we look at our ones here, so that was 32 plus 16. Now we have 34 plus 17. Now, mentally, if you have this one, you can see that you've got two more ones here. And it's one more one here. So the whole thing is going to be three more than the 48. And you could count it up. 51. 7 and 3. You should see that right away. Oh, there's a way to make 10. So that's a 10. And then we have two more tens, three tens, and four more tens. That's 70. And now we have the same 47, but we have 25 is one of our add ends. So that's two more than the 23. So our sum is going to be two more 72. Fifty-three and thirty-five. You're going to have three ones and five ones, so that's eight ones. And then you're going to have five tens and three tens. That's eight tens. And now we've got fifty-eight plus thirty-five. Well, we're going to have five more ones because the thirty-five is the same. But now you're looking at 53 and 58. So that's 58 is 5 more. So our sum is going to be 5 more. And so that's going to make it 93 if you count it up. Fifty-eight and forty-two. Oh look, eight and two. There's a ten. That's a hundred. Right, because this is going to, 50 and 40 is 90, and then another 10 is going to be 100. And we have the same 58 here. 45 is 3 more than the 42, so this is going to be, our sum is going to be 3 more, so it's 103. And we look at this 9 and that 2, that's 11. And our tens are six and three, that's 90. So we're adding 90 to 11. 90 and 10 more, that's 100. So we'll have 101. The 36 and the 62. So we're looking at this on a place value chart. I'm going to Give another example, right? Tens and ones. 36 and the 62. Actually, this one's not too bad because we have, for our ones here, we have six and two, that's eight ones. And then our tens are three and six, that's nine. So we can just write that, that's 98. We can just use the digits there. As long as the ones 
digits, the ones place digits, don't add up to more than nine, then you can just look at the digits and add them in your head. But if they if they do add up for more than nine, then you're going to have to do some bundling. You have to bundle together some of those ones and make a ten out of them. And here, there's an example coming up. This one right here, I'm going to draw when we get to it, just to show you how we use the the place value disks one more time. So here we have us in the ones place digits. We're always going to look at those first. Seven and three. There's a ten. So now we're just counting tens. There's a ten. Here's another ten. That's two tens, and seven more. That's nine tens. 90. Now this 16 plus 77, you could use it like the little tricks I've been using so far, but this is what it looks like when you use the discs. Start with the 16, that's a 10, and six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to add 77. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. These are all tens. And you're going to need like two more, two or three more pieces of paper to draw all every single one of these out. So uh, obviously I can't fit all that on here. So I'm not going to do all of them that way. And I need seven ones. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and you can see right here. There's ten ones. I have to bundle those and make trade them in for a ten. Now I don't count these twice, so I can just see what's left. I have these three ones, and you can look at that and see it's a ten frame with one missing here. So it's nine, ninety-three, fifty-nine, and thirty-four. You're going to end up looking at the ones place digits, right? You have a nine and four more. You're going to end up with 13 ones. And your tens, you're going to have five and three. That's eight tens. So it's, you're going to end up looking at 80 plus 13. You're going to have to bundle these 10 ones to make 90. Maybe you still have those three ones left over, 93. And this 31 and 58. You're going to have eight ones and one one. That's you're going to have nine for your ones digit. And then three plus five, you're going to have 89 there. And this is using a, solve these using a place value chart. So that's, tens and ones. Melissa has 36 more crayons than her brother. Her brother has 49. How many crayons does Melissa have? So her brother has 49. That's the brother. But she has more. So that's the, this is the more. And she has 36 more. So we're trying to find out how many is that put together. So 30, 49 and 36. So we'll draw the 49, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and these are 10s, these are 1s. And then the 36 is one, two, three more tens. I should draw a bigger circle so I can fit the numbers inside. And then we need six more ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we can see here we have ten ones. So I'm going to draw that as a Ten. Let me try to do what I said I was going to do there. So I'm not going to count these twice. I have one, two, three, four, five ones. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tens. Uh, there's 85. 
36 plus 49 equals 85. Well, this says 85 crayons. 67 candles on grandma's birthday cake and 26 left in the box. How many are there in all? Let's make a big chart. So I can make, oops, not hundreds, that comes later, tens and ones. So 67 on the cake, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, these are tens. These are ones. 26 in the box. That's two more tens. And six more ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I can see right here, there's a 10 group. I'm going to redraw that as a 10 over here. And I count my tens. I see I have nine tens. And three ones. And that was our 67 plus 26. There are 93 candles in all. And Oh, I'm going to do a little erasing here so I can read this. Let me put that down here. All right. Frank's mother gave him $25 to save. If he already had $38 saved, how much money does he have saved now? So it's 25 plus 38. And here's our big chart. I'm going to do tens and ones. And this said, like, all of these were solving using a place value chart, right? So that's why I'm drawing the place value chart. So we need twenty-five is two tens, one, two, three, four, five ones. And the thirty-eight is three more tens. One, two. Three and then eight more ones, right? We already have five ones, so we need one, two, three, four, five, right? We're drawing eight more ones. Five, six, seven, eight. So remember, you don't have to stop when you get to ten. You're drawing eight more. You don't stop when you get to eight, because that's not the total we want. We're drawing eight more. So you draw your five and then your eight more. A lot of times kids will stop. When they see the second number, they're like, oh, eight. And they'll stop when they get to eight. And they won't draw the last. Um, they won't draw everything they're supposed to have. So here we have, now we have a 10. And this is what you do when you have 10. You can't have 13 in one place value for regular, for a standard number form of a number. So we have to bundle these. As a t and count it as a 10 instead of 10 ones. So we're not going to count these twice. Now we just look at how many 10s we have. One, two, three, four. Five. You can just look at it. It's six, right? Because we used a 10 frame. Six 10s, three ones. It's 63. Frank saved $63.